Creek County investigators have a mystery on their hands, one centered around this rural country home east of Drumright. 60-year-old Roy Varnell Sr. was in the home with two of his young grandkids, a 12-year-old boy and an 8-year-old girl. Deputies say around 10 this morning, Varnell was shot and killed while sitting in a chair. The children weren't harmed. Investigators believe someone broke into the house. And while there were no signs of a forced entry, deputies say the door may have been unlocked. Now, deputies say the two kids that were in the home were unable to give them a suspect description, which makes it harder for investigators to find the person who did this. It's, it's real difficult when you don't have a description, you know, don't have a race, you don't have a gender, you don't have any uh, uh, clothing description. All you're going to have is two kids that were probably very scared and terrified at the time. The house is located within a mile from where wildfire struck just days before. There could be looters out here. Uh, that's, that's possible, but we just don't know at this time. The shooting forced nearby Olive schools into a temporary lockdown. Meanwhile, neighbors were in shock. We broke the news about the homicide to this woman who lives down the road. Deputies say the best thing residents in the area can do now is take precautions. I always tell them to keep their doors locked. If anybody comes to the door that they think is suspicious, to call us. Um, don't feel you need to open the door. And even if you think somebody's out here and you don't see them and you think somebody's prowling around, just call us up and we'll come out. Just don't take any chances. Reporting in Creek County, Brandon Richard, 2 News Works for You.